my new album is, is definitely a more contemporary sound, a more contemporary feel, because it's not classical, and it's not pop, and it's not new age, and, you know, it's just everything put in together, because I think it just makes for a much more interesting album if you mix loads of different types of songs together. At least for my first two albums, it was quite difficult because then, of course, I had such a small repertoire because I was just starting out. And also, it's quite difficult to find songs that are suitable for my voice because they don't write classical music for like 12, 13 year olds. But now I've grown a bit older, and you know, I can, I can, I've got a bit more variety, and also my repertoire's grown. So for this album, it was kind of taking about 30 songs and narrowing them down. I'm so animated today. <laughs> Working with um, Keith Thomas, who was the producer for the new album, was um, something that was my decision because Grace and Jeremy, who were the producers in the past, fantastic, really, really brilliant producers, but strictly classical. And, you know, I was just like, well, I, I wanted to experiment and try some different things and see if there was any different sounds that I could come out with. It does have kind of like a more contemporary sound, a more contemporary feel. And also, um, like with songs like The Habanera from Carmen, it's a very, very, very famous aria and it's been done and redone many, many times. And, you know, after like the 35th remake of it, you know, it's kind of, you know, really, it loses all of its pizzazz. When I was in the studio, um, I recorded with Jesse Cook and he arranged the habanera with the big South American drums and the flamenco guitar. So the whole album is going to have kind of a different vibe from my other albums. I wish I was in Carrick Fergus. Carrick Fergus is uh, an, an Irish song, Celtic song. Um, and it's got a really nice low whistle in it and it's it's really different because it's it's kind of got a bit of a ballady feel but then it's still Celtic and I've relaxed my voice a bit more so it's not so operatic but you know it's, it's still got quite an epic feel. Papa Can You Hear Me is a gorgeous song. It's got lots of different sections that are like changing and parts of it are really slow and, and just really kind of whispery and quiet and then parts of it are just really loud and really fast. So it's a lovely, lovely song, I really like that one. I was brought up on rock, classical, Barbra Streisand, Motown, soul, everything. But I've never, I've never really wanted to be a pop singer because I like being different and I like being like, individual from them because there are a lot of kind of teeny pop sensations around um, so and, and, I, and I like being a little like separate brand from them. I'm not really kind of conscious of my image I'm not really thinking well this is what I should wear at this premiere because this is the this is the image I want to project whatever I wear is just whatever I like to wear and as I grow up then you know that's going to get different and it's going to change. Uh, I'm a bit I'm a bit of a shopaholic. I love shoes and clothes and so I'll I'll have to kind of stop myself there and be kind of restricted. Which is really difficult because I'm like all I want to do is just have fun with my friend. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah. that's lush. Oh, yeah. And I love all the girly stuff. I love getting manicures and pedicures and facials and being pampered and get my hair done. My friends back home, you know, if I if I kinda of said, let's go and get a manicure, pedicure, a facial, you know, and they go, uh no, Charles, we're just gonna go to town and have a look in the local shop, all right? You know, but I mean, say, say if you were all like teenagers in LA, and I think it'd be kind of normal, like you'd have a totally, it's got a mall and get a manicure, you know? So much makeup. I can't really consider myself as like a, a spokesperson for my age because, well, to be honest, I haven't even thought of any kind of like good mottos for my life yet because I've only lived like 15 years of it. I mean, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do in the future. I mean, I love all types of music, but uh, I quite like what I'm doing. And I suppose, you know, like, I, again, in years to come, if I develop, if I develop in that way, then I can still have little dances and, you know, be a bit of a Spanish girl. It'll be class.